to this point, when we draw, we've been only drawing on one layer. Um, and with AutoCAD, what we have to do is we actually have to work with multiple layers uh, for our objects in order to turn them on and off later on, as we'll get into um, when we start to create drawings. Now, to keep your file organized and for you to maintain um, an overview, AutoCAD has the option of creating layers and drawing objects on and assigning objects to layers. Um, layers are basically categories to contain objects of a common type. So as a simple exa example, it is advisable in a floor plan to keep different categories of objects on different layers. So those might be walls, furniture, plumbing fixtures, so on and so forth, to be able to display or plot as required depending on the person you're preparing the drawing for or what type of drawing it is. So essentially what layers are is um, a way of organizing different sets of information. So for example, the client in general might need to see information that has, you know, furniture on the drawing, um, walls, they might not understand, you know, layers such as like mechanical in equipment. So in that case, what you would do is you would actually leave the mechanical um, layer off and you would turn it off for that instance. And what layers do is they allow us to organize that information to be able to turn it on and off as we need to. Um, so to create layers, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the layer manager. So you can either uh, type in the command layer manager, or if you notice the layers uh, ribbon up here, okay, kind of in the middle of the ribbons, up at the very top left hand corner is the tool button for the layer manager. Okay, so what this does is it actually opens up the dialog where we're going to be creating our layers for our file. So you'll notice that with our layers, okay, there's always going to be a layer zero, and that's default by AutoCAD. And what you'll find is that um, in addition to layer zero, okay, you might find a def points layer, which is also um, a, a default layer from AutoCAD. So to begin with, what we want to do is we want to start by creating layers. And in your homework this week, you're going to have a list of layers, and you're going to have um, the properties of their colors, so on and so forth. So I'm giving you the information that you need, and it's very important that you stay with that information because it's going to feed into um, uh, future uh, exercises. So if you look at your layer list, okay, you'll notice that we have um, a naming convention. So for example, a plan wall. Okay, the A typically stands for architectural. So if it's an architectural plan, then you'll see a plan, and then there's the object, which is the wall. Now, S is usually structural, M is usually mechanical. So each discipline usually has their own prefix. And then, you know, they might note after that prefix, if it's a plan, if it's an elevation, if it's a section. So for example, if you have uh, a section drawing, a lot of time it'll say SECT for section, and then um, that element, but we're going to get into section and elevation layer, layers a little bit later on. For this one, what we want to do is, because we're going to be starting our plan exercise, is we want to start to create our plan layers. So if I go into my list and I see a plan wall, the color is white, okay? Um, what the color is going to do is it's actually going to correspond with a pen setting and a line weight later on. So. Um, just make sure that when you go through this exercise that you actually, um, you know, follow the list that I give you. So to create a new layer, what I want to do is I want to go to the top, okay, and I can either say Alt plus N, okay, and uh, create a new layer that way, or I can just click on this button, okay. So it's, it's going to tell me that this is by default, it's named layer 1, so I can type in A dash plan dash wall. Okay, um, don't worry about, you know, the on off right now or the freeze or to lock it. Okay, right, what we're concerned with right now is basically the color of it. So we want to have that be white and the, by default, they always have a continuous line, which is actually a solid line. Okay, so for example, I'm going to take another one. Let's say a plan stairs. Okay, so again, I'm going to create a new layer, a dash plan dash well, that's strs in the list okay now what it's going to ask for is that the color is color 8 so I'm going to click on the box under color with that layer 
and you'll see that there's tons and tons and tons and tons of colors. And it depends on the firm. Some firm actually use um, less colors and more layer names, and then some firms use more colors and uh, they'll have, you know, basically about the same amount of layer names. Um, so it's, you know, kind of different how some firms work with it. I tend to prefer to use a smaller amount of colors, okay, because essentially your colors are you're going to be your line weights. And what it means is it's less colors to assign pens to rather than having to assign, you know, 256 colors with a separate pen. And we're going to get into that later. You know, it gets a little bit tedious. So what we want to do is we want to have our stair layer be color 8. So under color, I'm going to click on 8. Okay, you'll also notice that color 8 is actually in this main list here. You'll see this main list is used a lot. And then usually, you know, white or red is the darkest color. And, you know, the grays are usually lighter. Um, but you'll have red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, magenta. Um, this is white. And then you have color 8 and color 9. So I'm going to choose color 8. Hit OK. And then, again, it's a continuous line. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to uh, make a hidden um, layer to use because it actually has a different line weight. So again, I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to say a plan hidden. And that also has a color eight. So that came in with, um, you know, creating this layer. And what I want to do is I want to give it a, let's see, a hidden is a hidden line type. Okay, so under line type, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this, and what pops up is essentially the line types that are loaded into uh, your layer manager. So I only see continuous. Now what I need to do is I actually need to go and I need to load the hidden line type. So I'm going to click unload, and I'm going to find hidden. And there's hiddens, you know, at various scales. So I'm just going to use a regular hidden, say OK, and select it and say OK, and it's going to select it as that. Okay. If I ever need to change anything, all I have to do is click on you know, the color box in order to give it a new color, or the line type in order to give it a different line type. I'll cancel that. Now that we have our layers created in AutoCAD, what we want to do is we want to actually save the template with them. Okay, so that we can start a new drawing and have our layers already set up for us. So what I can do is if I go up to the layers ribbon and I expand the layer list above, okay, I can see the ones that I've created. So once I see that, what I want to do is I want to go and do a save as, and I want to save it files of type as template, okay, and I want to find where I saved my template file, and I want to resave it and replace it. So I'm going to say yes. And give me, I'm going to say OK. And then when I close out of this drawing and open a new one, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to point it to the template that I just saved, open up a new file, and now I see that my units are in architectural, and I see that my layers are already there for me to, to use. So what I want to do at this point is I want to start to draw and I want to make sure before I do that that I am working in a drawing and I'm not in my template file. So up above it says DWG as the extension so I know that I'm good and I'm not going to save over my template file unless I do a save as. Okay. Um, so what I want to do is I want to start by actually working on my plan. And there's a couple ways of starting to work with layers. And the reason we work with layers is that we can start to organize information. So for example, if I have my walls, I want them to be on my wall layer. So there's a couple ways of, a uh, few ways of actually making my layer currents so I can start to work with it. Okay, I can either start off with just, you know, working with any old layer and reassigning the objects to the layer later on, or it's, you know, a little bit easier to start off with just by making the layer current that you want to work with so that you can start working with it off the bat. So one way of doing that is to go to your layer list and to select the layer that you want to start working with and that's my A plan wall layer. So that's um, one way of doing it. The other way of doing it is by actually opening up the layer manager, going into your list and you'll notice that there's a little check mark. Okay, so I can make any of these current 
just by selecting them and clicking on the check, check mark. So I can go to my A plan wall, click on the check mark, and that's going to make uh, that layer current. Now what you'll find is that when I do that, this information up here changes too, and that's because these two are directly related to each other. They're never going to talk differently from each other. Okay, so this is just another version of this. This is the abbreviated version. So we can find whatever we need um, in one or the other, and they're always going to stay the same. Okay, the other way of doing it is to actually, to make a, a layer current, is to actually click on the object uh, that you want to have the its layer be current and you can type in lay m cur okay which is also this button that's right next to your layer manager and when you click on that what it does is it kind of picks the properties of and the layer of that object that that layer the uh, that that object is on okay the layer that it's on and it makes that layer current okay so now when we're starting to work with objects Okay, so I have a few objects. Right now, they're all on my A plan wall layer. Okay, which might be good to start off with, but with when I actually want to, um, so, you know, create objects with different layers, what I can do is I can do a couple things in order to uh, change the layer of, of them. So, and, and to assign them to a different layer. So if I select, for example, this rectangle, okay, what I can do is I can actually go to my layer list and I can do a pull down and I can assign it to a different layer that way okay what I can also do is I can use what's called my properties okay which is your control one and what that does is that actually brings up the properties of an object so I can click on an object and I can change oops not there I can change the layer of it that way okay or what I can do is I can also use what's called the match properties, okay? And that's uh, the alias is MA, or it's also called match prop, or it's over here on your, your clipboard or, or at the end, there you have the button there. And what that does is I can actually type in MA or match prop, I can select a source object, and what that does is it essentially picks up the uh, properties of that object, and you can click on another object and you can essentially paint, in a way, the properties of this object onto this object. So that's the way that you can start to um, pick out and, and start to change uh, the layers that these objects are on. Now, for homework, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be working on a plan, and the way to check what layers your objects are on in order to make sure that everything's on its proper layer is by using what's called the lay walk. Okay, and what that does is this actually pulls up a list of the layers that are in the drawings and I can click through them just to make sure I have the proper information on each layer. And what it does, it essentially shows the objects that are on the layer that's highlighted. Okay, once that's done, I can hit close and I can make sure that my file is okay and I can hand it in um, to the LMS and, you know, have say you know keep have a peace of mind that everything is all on the correct layers just by using that laywalk command